and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sonia and I would love it if you could subscribe. And if you're not already an existing subscriber, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing my latest in beauty subscription box, one that I always look forward to every single month. Now it's a little bit later now, I've finished work. This has been sat patiently waiting all day. So <laughs> this is what it looks like. So this is the Pamper Time edit from Latest and Beauty. This is the November box. I'll give you a little bit more information about this box. So this box is the box you actually pick the products yourself. You So you get to pick six products. It costs £12.95 per month. But if you were to subscribe to it now, you would have to pay £12.95 plus shipping on top for the first three months. And then after that, you would only pay for the box. And you would also get put onto a pro account, which also gives you, I think, 15% off the collections that they do on latest and beauty every month now this box is a little bit different because like i said you get to pick the products but it also depends as well when you like start your subscription so, say you were to start this, this subscription on the 1st of december every month you will only be able to pick your box on the first of each month so new products drop every single day so it's different products each day and at the first of every month you get to see kind of all the products that will be on the website for the entire month but yeah i really really enjoy this box i've been getting this since i think about july and every single time i just really 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 enjoyed the box so this month was no different there wasn't kind of a lot really that i wanted when it came to the box there's a couple of things that i knew i was definitely going to be waiting for and i actually picked this box a day later than what my subscription was so i usually pick on the 13th i didn't order this until the 14th because i was waiting for something to drop this did take quite a while to get here now bearing in mind 14th was the was the weekend but this only got to me today and it is the 20th so i think just because of everything going on and i think there's a backlog like with royal mail and everything like that i think it took a bit longer but it was well worth the wait if there's anything that i've missed i'll put it in the description box for you below so let's should we get into this box because i'm really excited to show you the stuff i picked for this month for starting off sometimes you get like free gifts or you might get discounts off from like certain retailers you know businesses online and this month we got another one of the Estee Lauder hand sanitizers now we got one of these last month I'm not complaining because these are really really handy to have and me and my boyfriend have both got one of these in our car and I may potentially if we get to see our family this Christmas which I really hope we do I might give this to my mum and dad so they can put that in their car but that was a free gift that wasn't something I picked you do also get a virgin wine voucher and you also get the this is the glow and ray 30 percent off so as I mentioned you can get discounts sometimes so we got that and we also got the free gift now let's move on to the box and the products I chose. So starting off, the first thing I chose was I saw it and it's been on the website for a while because some products can be on there for a period of time if they don't sell out. And I picked this Hask Charcoal Purifying Deep Conditioner because Ruby's Beauty Desk mentions how she really, really likes these and I've never tried them before. You get them in a lot of subscription boxes, but only really kind of the since about August, I've really properly been getting them and I haven't had one of these ones in my box yet. I don't get Glossy Box, which I think is what it has been in one recently. I'm really excited to try this though. It seems like it's got a lot of product in here and this is a 50 mil. So this will definitely most probably last me maybe two or three. I, as you can see, I don't have a lot of hair. But I was really, really excited to try this. And like I said, it's a brand I haven't tried before. That was my first product I picked. Now, what I will say is there are some products on there. There's about four pages full of products. And kind of when you get to more towards like the third and the fourth page, that's kind of products that have been on there for a while. I know they did do, when was it? Maybe September or October. I know they did do a drop of kind of stuff from last year's advent calendars. And there was actually on the more on the later pages, like the third and fourth page. So I always kind of just like to have a look. They might, you know, put some new things in there sometimes. I've seen this one on there for a while, but I kind of never picked it up. And then I just thought, you know what? I'm going to give it a go. The next thing I picked up again was another influence by Ruby's Beauty Desk. And it was the Natura Nourishing Hand Cream. Now, I love hand creams anyway. And I know they did have a hair mask on there as well. But when I went to go and pick, they didn't actually have that, which was a shame because I would have most probably liked that. But I did pick up the hand cream because I love hand creams. And this one is a really, really good size. This one is a 75 gram. So it looks like this. Like I said, when it comes to hand creams, I really love having them. They're just something I use pretty much every single day. And this one's one of those chews where you can get absolutely everything out of it, which is 
perfect. I don't really like wasting product, so having stuff like this in packaging is great. So this is actually, they are vegan and it says we use fair trade biodiversity ingredients from the Amazon. We work with local communities to keep the forest standing and it's 97% natural origin. I like stuff like this. And like I said, I don't know what it smells like, but I don't want to open it. But it does also say here we are against animal testing. Like I said, I don't want to open it because I want to save this one. I actually do need a hand cream because I've got one open at the minute. I really wanted to pick this up as my one of my options. And look, I was really glad that it was still there when I went to pick my box. That was my second product. My third product is something I've actually heard a lot of people rave about. And not even just the brand, but this product itself. So in Look Fantastic's box, this month we actually got a product from this brand and it was a micellar water and I'm talking about Polar and this is the 50 plus sun lotion now I've seen a lot of people talk about this before and when I saw it on there I thought I'm going to pick that up because I do I am actually running out of my sun sunscreen that I use on my face and I'm not a huge fan of the one I'm using at the minute my favorite one I've used is by Glossier but I wanted to give this one a go because like I said I've seen a lot of people rave about this and this is what it looks like it is a 50 mil so it's a pretty good size as well. I use sunscreen every day on my face. So having stuff like this and trying new brands is what I want to do and find like the perfect one for me. So many people have raved about this. So I wanted to pick that one up. I know there was a moisturizer as well on, for, on the latest in beauty site that you could choose from, but I kind of don't really need an, a body moisturizer at the minute. I do need a sunscreen. So I picked that up and I've got three more products to go through, but I wanted to talk to you about the Hall of Fame product. Now the Hall of Fame product is a product that absolutely everybody can get in the month, no matter when you subscribe. And they usually have a new one of these every single month. And this month I didn't actually pick the Hall of Fame product because I already own it. And it is the Aveda Damage Remedy Daily Hair Repair. So it looks like this. So this actually comes in the advent calendar for latest and beauty because I did get that. This is a really good size product. I haven't tried it yet, but because I've already got one, I didn't need another one to pick it up. But this is a really good size. I'm pretty sure this is full size. So if you're interested in trying that and you want to get a full size product, the Hall of Fame product is brilliant. I think they usually are full size, not always, but majority of the time they are. And this one definitely is a full size. So if you're interested, that is the Hall of Fame product for November. Now moving on to my final three picks. So these are actually all products that dropped on the week and was going to be picking my box anyway. And these were the kind of products I had my eye on. So I was really excited when they actually dropped this week. I feel quite lucky that usually products drop on the week that I pick my box. Touch wood, it's like that forever. The first thing I picked up was the Inner Care Organic Certified Organic Lipstick Crayon in Rose Petal. Did I need another lipstick? absolutely not did i want one absolutely yes <laughs> i got an eye cream last month from this brand from latest in beauty and that was a full size product so i wanted to pick this one up and see i haven't tried the eye cream yet because i've already got a couple open but this is what this looks like so it's quite a good size this is three grams let me give you a little swatch this is honestly so creamy when you put it on your hand like i can't believe how creamy that is considering it's like a crayon but that was honestly so nice and it is the perfect colour for this time of year and also the perfect colour for me. What I will do is on the screen I will tell you whether the products are full size and I will also put the prices. Now I try to work out kind of prices as much as I possibly can like for the kind of amount of product. So if any of these are not full size I will try and work out as close as I possibly can. And that's why I like to get boxes what tell you how much they are because it's just a lot easier. But that was my fourth product. I'm really excited about that one. My fifth one is this one and this is the Nil Canned Vegan Quick Dry Natural Nil Wear. Now this was a product that you could get three different variations of colours and I really wanted this colour so I'm so happy I got it. This one is in My Harmony and it's a glossy one I believe. Now, the only reason I didn't want the other two is because I've already got nail varnishes in those colours and I really didn't need kind of another one of those. So I'm really glad I got this. I used to have a colour similar to this before, which let me just show you. So this is like the colour. I used to have a colour similar to this before and it was by Tanya Bear and I think it was called Penguin Chick and I used it all up and I loved that colour. So I'm so excited that I've got this now and I've not tried this brand before, but I'm... I mean, I used to have 
long nails, but I've actually had to cut them down, which is sad. They'll grow again, the nails. But I wanted to just kind of try some different nail varnishes and stuff like that, and I've not tried this brand before. And last but no means least, this was the product I was waiting for, so this is the reason why I kind of didn't pick on the 13th. I was waiting for this product to drop. Now, this product is a smaller product. It's not definitely not full size, but I was so intrigued and I really wanted to try it. And it is the Ole Herrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream. So it looks like this. So this is just a little three mil, so it's not a big one, but this is a brand I've definitely heard of. I've heard a lot of people rave about it and I've not tried anything from this brand, but I've definitely heard of it. So it looks like this. So like I said, it's just a little three mil, but I, I didn't really need another eye cream to be honest, because I know we're getting an eye cream in the Look Fantastic box. I just didn't want to miss out on this opportunity of trying this brand because like I said, it is quite an expensive brand. So seeing it in boxes like this where you can get to pick, it's brilliant and I'm excited to try that and I'll definitely feed back in one of my empties videos about this product. But no, this is quite a big brand and that's usually what happens with Latest and Beauty. They do usually put quite like quite good brands available to choose and usually quite big brands. It's the same as like Look Fantastic. Obviously you don't get to pick, but they usually do quite big brands as well. So those are my six products. I am really happy with my products I picked this month. Like I said, there wasn't anything that was like completely drawing me in. Like some months have, there's like at least three products in there that I wanted. And like I said, don't get me wrong. I've, this was kind of the one that I was like, I know I definitely want that and I will wait for it. But the other stuff is just stuff that I was just really happy to, to get. And I picked them on, like I said, the day when this one came out. I always love my latest in beauty. I always feel really like lucky because I always seem to get everything that I want. Touch wood, fingers crossed, <laughs> that that will continue on. Because like I said, if there's something that comes on and you really, really want it and it's really like a popular brand, it can sell out really fast. So you have to be quick. But now I'm really, really happy with my six choices this month. So that was my latest in beauty for November. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and it would mean the world to me if you could subscribe and I would love to have a conversation with you about these products. Do you have latest in beauty? If you do, please let me know down below and please leave the links to your videos because I love watching latest in beauty ones. It's a little bit different because there's so many variations that people can get and I would love to hear kind of your experiences on these products and until next time everyone, see you later.